Hey guys, it's Jennifer Don Gaviola, and I hope uh, for those of you in the U.S., I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Um, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you uh, still are, have a wonderful quality time with uh, people you care about, and um, I encourage you to always be um, mindful of all the blessings that you have, because regardless of a holiday or not, it's important that we are always uh, mindful of and grateful for the blessings that we do have and what is working in our life. So I wanted to hop on here today to talk about something that um, I thought about. I had a uh, Q&A call today for my Quiet Voice Speaking Back to, uh, Branding course, and the topic uh, for this week, we're talking about how do you organically attract your um, ideal clients? You know, how do you do that in a way where you're um, really resonating with the right people? So um, it's important to be really clear about like who you are and who you serve and how you help, uh, but also like what you stand for. So I wanted to talk about that and really like owning your story because that, that's really important because that's really what sets you apart is um, you being deeply attuned to who you are, recognizing your value, um, communicating what's important to you, what you stand for, and then owning your story. So I wanted to share, a lot of people have joined our Quiet Voice Big Impact uh, community lately, so I wanted to reintroduce myself. Uh, I'm Jennifer Don Gaviola, and I am the leader of this uh, private Facebook group. And, um, I help introverted leaders own their quiet voice and their fierce power to build brands that make an impact. So when I was crafting um, how, to, how to communicate what I do, um, it became very clear to me that who I serve, who I feel drawn to serve, are um, people similar to me, uh, that I resonate with this, um, not, not just introverts, but introverts introverted entrepreneurs, introverted leaders who really identify with being quiet and fierce. And fierce not from an egotistical standpoint, but fierce from a, um, like you're owning your innate power. And so it's up to us to define for ourselves what that power is. It's, it, what I mean by power um, is not aggressive, it's not from an ego place, it's really um, owning your quiet power. You have um, a resounding power that's innate within you, and it's uh, your responsibility to um, be able to express that in a way that feels good to you, so the right people will feel you. So, um, so the first part of what, what I want to share with you is being clear in who you help, right? And so my case is um, I, introverts who really identify with being quiet and fierce, really, right? And then also, um, how you help. So in my case, I help um, these introverted leaders with heart-centered strategy and um, exquisite design and also soulful personal presence and style because I take a very holistic uh, approach to branding. I really, um, my take on branding, it has to feel sustainable. So you have to, for me, I have to really approach everything I do from a, from a deep place. So you build a really strong foundation. So when you're clear in your value, when you're clear in the essence of who you are, from there, you can really build upon your brand, like the marketing materials, um, the copywriting, the graphics, the website, um, program, um, an ebook, a digital product. It doesn't really matter what you're creating, what you're putting out in the world. If you have a deep alignment within yourself, then no matter what you're communicating, uh, there'll be that um, theme, that clarity of who you are and uh, the value that you provide. And your voice will be resounding throughout, throughout everything that you produce, right? And again, I always talk about your energy. So it's really important that you allow yourself to um, tune in every day, like I always talk about with the turtle way, having regular quiet time. And when you do that regularly, uh, you'll be able to communicate in a way that feels aligned with you. 
right? You won't get distracted by who you think you're supposed to be, right? Uh, so what else I wanted to talk about, like when you're communicating your value to attract uh, the right people is uh, owning your story. So for me, uh, for those of you that don't know me, I started my business over eight years ago. And I, um, let's see, I started my business with t-shirts really. Um, I used to write poetry and I had a job, I was a design director and I uh, ended up losing that job and I was also diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I was there for 12 years. I helped build a multi-million dollar company from the ground up. And so it was pretty devastating for me to um, lose that because I identified my self-worth, um, my purpose in life with my work. Not just my work, but also like the image I would project, right? So losing my job, it felt like I didn't have a sense of purpose or direction anymore in my life. And then also um, getting diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, um, things like walking became difficult. And so that made me really become super self-aware on things that really mattered, you know, the ability to walk, the ability to um, it's just, again, appreciate what you have, right? Instead of constantly trying to like, for me, I was a workaholic. And so constantly trying to prove myself kind of got me in this position, but um, it's taken a long time, you know, for me to uh, move through that and transform that into something positive. And so, which leads me to like what, how owning your story really helps to uh, communicate what you stand for. So for me, when I lost my job, um, I really, I was at a crossroads moment and um, I got, I prayed for a solution, what, like what to do. And uh, the divine guidance I received was to put my poetry on t-shirts. My ego did that understand what that was about because my ego is trying to survive and like hide and make money but I had literally lost everything so I went for it and I literally went day by day moment by moment I, I didn't overthink it I just did it because again I I had lost everything so I had nothing to lose so all of that got me to this place where the essence of selling my t-shirts, right? My, I call them my dawning soul poetic tees. The whole essence of that was about using my poetry to help empower women. At the time, I thought it was just women, you know, empower women from the, and own, to help them own their beauty and their power from the inside out, right? But what I realized doing this for eight years as my uh, purpose evolved, I'm still doing that, but I'm going deeper with the community that I feel called to serve, which are, again, introverted leaders, quiet and fierce introverted leaders, right? So that, that essence of um, who I am and how I feel called to serve, helping to empower these women, now I'm deepening that and serving introverted leaders even more and using branding, design, personal presence and style. So I'm still, um, incorporating the whole style component, but it's really from an empowering, um, from an empowering place. Now, did I know this was the master plan going in? No, hell no. Um, so I wanted to share that as an example that I literally went from one day to the next day, moment by moment, just feeling my way forward. And so as an introvert, you're highly intuitive. So I encourage you to really tap into that and really be as present as you can and allow yourself to co-create with life because that will help you navigate your path because you're not meant to create some copy someone else's formula you have your your own lane and it's really important that you own that lane for you and trust that you're being guided trust that you're being led because that's what I did I had to let go of my old um, patterns of being controlling and a perfectionist in order for me to surrender and trust in the process and trust that God for me, God was for me and really wanted the best for me. And instead of me trying to figure out what I, what I thought was best, because deep down, to be honest, I always felt like 
well, all the bad stuff that happened to me in the past, I don't know if I completely trusted God. So I wanted to isolate myself and control my reality. So I didn't have to like rely on anybody, especially God. But now I realize, okay, I'm a part of life. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of support. I'm worthy of um, all the blessings that, that God wants. So it's really important. I, I want to reflect that to you, that you also are worthy of all this and you are meant to be supported. So the more that you can reflect on, again, who you are, who you're meant to serve, owning your story, your story is what's going to set you apart and make you human, like communicate that you're human. That's what's going to um, resonate with the right people. And when you do that, um, people will feel your sincerity and your passion, right? Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining. Um, I never used to be till my traumatic brain injury. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that. Your story is sacred. Maybe I'll do another video on that about really owning your story more in depth. But really, when you share your story, especially the vulnerable parts, give yourself some space and grace to really heal from it. So you can communicate that in a way from a place of power, right? Where, you, where you've learned something. But when you do that, then you're expressing your humanity. And that's what people want. People don't want to be sold to. They want to be able to connect with real human beings. And I feel like as introverts, we're naturally very deep. So really our job is to be able to have the courage to step outside of our shell and communicate from that heart-centered place consistently in a way that feels life-affirming and honors our energy. But we're doing that consistently so people can feel us, right? Our job is to allow, like, encourage people to feel and activate change. That's what I realized for me. My role is not to make people comfortable. This is, it's, I want people to feel safe. I want to create a safe and sacred space, but my role is not to make you comfortable. My role is to help activate change. I want you to continue to rise, right? That's, that's your role if you are, um, you know, a leader, a mentor. You know, if you're helping to improve other people's lives, people want change, right? But they want to feel safe to change. So, so uh, I wanted to end this with um, all that, you know, when you share who you are, uh, what you do, who you help, your story, all of that helps to culminate to like what you stand for, right? So what I've shared with you so far about like, what I feel called to do, helping introverts own their quiet voice and fierce power to build brands and make an impact. I do that with heart-centered strategy, exquisite design, and soulful personal presence and style. Why I feel so passionate about that is because what I stand for is helping introverts feel empowered. Feel empowered from a very deep and soulful place. And it really, ultimately, in an unapologetic way, because I think sometimes introverts get a, it's kind of like a stereotype that introverts can't be strong or can't be uh, impactful. And I really, for me, what I, what's important to me, I, I stand for like embodying uh, a type of power that is full of grace, uh, full of compassion, gentleness, fierceness, and courage. I think a lot of times in our society, we see the people that succeed the most are maybe the loudest or the mo most aggressive, right? Um, but I, I really want to take a, take a stand for showing an example of a leader who is quiet and powerful, but a power that feels nourishing, nurturing to me, feels safe, feels gentle, and powerful you know those may not seem like they're supposed to go together but for me that's the only way i've learned how to create sustainable success right it needs to feel there has to be a sense of power and direction for where you're going with your purpose and the way there the turtle way needs to feel nourishing sustainable loving compassionate kind gentle 
to yourself. Otherwise, you're just bullying yourself, which I understand what that's like, right? I'll share another video about that. Um, it's really important that we as leaders, especially introverted leaders, give ourselves the space and the grace to navigate this leadership role in a way that feels loving towards ourselves, kind towards ourselves, and accountable, but accountable in a way that feels um, again, loving and not bullying, right? Because that, that's, I, I understand what that's like to push, push, push yourself instead of supporting yourself. And the last thing I'll share is you deserve your own support. You deserve your own love. You deserve your own time. Um, I just feel like this message is super important uh, just for you to um, be good to yourself, you know, whether or not you have a business or not. It's really important that you treat yourself well along your journey. And especially if you're a leader and a mentor in any capacity, you're meant to rise and you're meant to embody what it is you want to attract. I learned that from a mentor, right? So yeah, that requires a lot of courage, right? Whatever you want to attract, the people, the ideal people you want to attract, you have to embody that. So if you want to attract people that are kind and loving and ambitious, you know, successful, brave, you have to embody that yourself, right? So, but it takes practice and it takes patience and compassion and kindness towards yourself. Um, well, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, next week, I'm going to be sharing even more uh, videos. Uh, there's a few topics that I got some divine guidance to um, coming there's a couple topics that I, it's been on my heart for a while and I can feel that it's almost time to share it's kind of vulnerable but it just feels like it's time to be able to share this um, these topics because it feels like the healing is not just for me it's also the act of sharing is uh, also meant to help those that are meant to hear it. So uh, I look forward to sharing that as well. If you have any questions or comments, um, we'd love you for you to share in the comments and especially your biggest takeaway from this video. And um, if this resonates with you and you are interested in really learning how to communicate your value and, and organically attract your ideal clients, uh, I invite you to schedule a complimentary discovery call with me. You can email me at info at dawningsoul.com or send me a private message. Um, yeah, again, this is, uh, this is really how I'm being called to serve is really dear to my heart because um, I was bullied growing up. I understand all the stereotypes, being an introvert, highly sensitive, empath. I understand all that. So but I really feel called I'm being brought more and more into the light to be used by God uh, to embody and demonstrate um, a type of leadership, quiet leadership that has uh, that's full of like power and grace. So you can um, find that within yourself and make the impact that you're meant to make. So um, thank you guys for those of you that were here live and uh, Next week, I'll be sharing more videos. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, guys.